Throughout his really fight, hurt. Bradley displayed exceptional boxing technique and footwork, which allowed him to evade many of Provodnikov's powerful punches. However, Provodnikov proved to be a formidable opponent, consistently pressuring Bradley with his aggressive style and landing some heavy shots. In the early rounds, Bradley showcased his fitness and counter-punching ability, frustrating Provodnikov's attempts to land clean shots. However, as the fight progressed, so Vodnikov's relentless pressure began to take its toll on Bradley. He was hit with some significant blows, causing him to stagger and even be knocked down in the 12th round. Despite the knockdown, Bradley showed tremendous heart and resilience throughout the match. He refused to give in and continued to fight back, displaying incredible determination. Bradley's ability to withstand Vodnikov's onslaught and keep fighting demonstrated his incredible toughness and will to win. Ultimately, the judges awarded Timothy Bradley a unanimous decision victory. While Provodnikov's relentless aggression and power punches me with a challenging fight, Bradley's superior boxing skills, defense, and ability to weather the stronger he happens in his game. Bradley's victory over Provodnikov exemplified his ability to adapt to different fighting styles and overcome adversity. It was a hard-fought battle that focused the true spirit of boxing Making it a memorable match for fans and spectators alike. Look at this. He's really hurt. Huge surprises in round one. He's very wide-eyed right now. Almost looks sheepishly. Now this is it all the time. I think it's just the way the mouthpiece looks like a stocky guy that he is. He's going to be filled with confidence right now. Oh, absolutely. Just he just took his son out, and I think he just feels that he's going to get this fight. He may well if Tim continues to make the mistake oh. of fighting in sight. Tim got clipped again by a... I don't know. Oh, his, his, legs, his, yeah, legs. His, his legs are not great, which means he has no fault on his punches to get hit again. Man. Tries to get up and see how flat-footed he's down and thrilled if he wants to fight on the inside. Oh. Tim get clipped from the night losing power. Oh. He gets nailed with another left hand. Falls forward. Ready to go again with a minute and nine seconds to go. You know, he wanted to show something, and his that a work for him, he got in this round. Another big shot. He's been hit punches, shoe shiny punches, and they don't hurt Rosen one bit. One shot, so for him to stand there trying to do that, it's crazy. Uh, Tim's ready to go again. And then here he goes, as he falls into the ropes. And this guy land. Tim just avoiding shots as best he can. There's nothing on his punches. Step back, give him the room, and lower up a shot. I mean, there's a case to score these first two rounds. 10-8 in favor for him could be sure that Freddie Roach is thrilled. Round three. Now Tim tries to go back to boxing, but it, you know, he's in trouble. The other factor. He did throw a lot of punches in the first two rounds. Hands it down now. This is perfect minute of the first round that prevented got get really dangerous. Tim back now, he fights out here. Tim staying away, doing what he should do. Now, that's the way to fight this yeah, guy. You it off, you just uh, didn't have enough gas. And the Diaz and Ray uh, Bradley in that corner of Tim said, hey, what the heck are you doing? Fight the ball. Hit and don't get hit. In and out. Ruslan continues to fall. This is his right. Bang. Gets hit. Oh, I get caught again. I'm fighting a guy as strong as Ruslan. Two body shots and his shot. There you go. This is good stuff now by Tim. So he was able to be hit easy by Ruslan that time. Back with a fading fourth and scoring up the way he's doing that. I don't like that. Nice shot here. Yes, yes. This is good boxing now. Tim knows what he's doing right now. He moves side to side. Make sure you get the arms tied up. <laughs> I hate to see a guy that's been criticized so much and see what happened to him. Ah. Just do what you do, and he's done it excellently. And he tried to trade with him, and that certainly didn't work in the second and third round. And he paid. Oh, off. beautiful left hook by Rizek's getting in the inside, but he's not able to do the kind of work he did in the, in the first two rounds. Okay, don't linger in there. As long as he's still confident that he can land punches in here, and that's a mistake. 
Made that mistake in the second and third round. So he's lingering in the big exchange with this guy. There's a ton of the glancing right. But he's a guy that's trying to show some power with both hands out and it blows up for Molly. Round of 10, 10 punches at Bradley's throat. Tim comes up with that elbow, and Pat Russell says, hey, watch right. This is Tim Bradley's oh. fight when he fights like this. Got caught with two left hooks. At the Tim punches. I don't want to see him get caught in that southpaw stance, though, that's happening. Two rounds was in a heap of trouble. Didn't this Tim showing a hand speed again. This is great stuff now for Tim Bradley. Side, he's taking shoulders to from side to side and, you know, throwing, standing up. But it's still danger to be in, dangerous to be in there that close. His face, while it's not cut, it's really popping. Oh! I mean, look at these. These are solid shots and smart from the rest of the way out. They clip with the left hand and his Provenikov on his assault now. And Bradley's hurt in this round. Oh, he get hit with the right hand again. Provenikov letting it fly again. They're just punching it out. Again, this isn't Bradley's fight. This is Provednikov's fight. Look at this guy. Come on, let it go. Wrong ah, thing. Great round, but wrong thing. That's Provednikov's round. Because he hurt Bradley. Even after. Pretty even. I get a dead even. Dead even. 57 57 after six. This is round number seven. And this was right on top because he's a great referee. Orthodox up on the toes, sliding to his right, bounces up and down, down the ropes. This fight in which time he's had Provodnikov. So that round. All right, here we go in round number eight. That's the perfect fight to stop. This is Master Pacquiao stuff, and this is certainly Master Mick. The experience of your experience as a welterweight champ. The left eye might have popped open. Those of us who love to watch real true boxing. Right aside, taking angles. All right, nice. That's the case with him. This is round nine, Home Depot Center, Carson, California. Good. Out of your screen, trying to hunt down the reigning champion, Timothy Bradley, who's favorite coming in here. Good boxing in seven and eight, and I've got him slightly up here. We mentioned the leather upstairs, and now the fans are showing an appreciation for With a lot more urgency in, in, in the attack, because I think that they told him you got to step. Fight his instinct to brawl. You can't help it. you got to really be disciplined to get at Tim. It doesn't really catch Tim, but this is a dangerous place for Tim inside, unless he's throwing. And he's throwing so Oh, yeah, he'd be stopped because of a cut. It's a technical knockout as opposed to a technical decision. Nice uppercut. He's hurt this guy now. You can see the legs of Provinikov. He's some kind of tough guy. Right on top of that cut again. Oh. Lord knows how many more punches he's landed that Provinikov. That cut is bad now. So we'll have to keep it. Uh, top, right on top. Of and how bad it is. Right on top. You were not able to explore the way you did in the earlier in the fight. He's trying to hunt down this guy, loads up the right hand, misses with it, then goes back and misses the left. Bleeding again, and it's in a bad spot because that blood is going right into his eye. Yeah, this is the tenth round. Tim taps on that eye again. Top of it to close out the round. Back around, I would say, comfortably in his favor. But again, this wounded war. And he looks like he's got enough left in him. I mean, he's cut, but he's... Uh, the energy back. Maybe, uh, I mean, they... When they tell you in the corner that you've got to come out and do something because you're losing it, sometimes they... Right, Tim bounces outside. Oh. He gets caught with a straight left hand that time. Well, this is the heart that the champions have. Provodnikov trying to muster up as much strength as he possibly can to land a big blow. Bradley on the inside, not the way to oh. fight this guy. And got he hurt. pay for it. A lot of time in this round. Bradley got a little... Oh, Bradley. I think both of those guys are exhausted. There's no quitting them. Either wow. one of these guys. What a round oh, boxing. Oh, oh, for two goodness. guys that are exhausted. That's the guy around to beat this guy. Because Ravodnikov came here to lift the title. And has been a, and get clipped again and staggered in the uh, tenth, 11th round, rather. And there's Tim exchanging with him again. And the fight won't be close enough. And let's go for the last minute of this world championship day. Provodnikov is a guy on the assault. Bradley oh! get clipped. Have this guy and walk him. 
And he's fighting him. Oh, stay. He could get knocked out here. He's ready to go. And blows up his shot, gets covered with another right hand, does Bradley. Tim is hurt, reeling around. All oh, but falling down, finally. It's up to seven and eight, and we're gonna run. The fight's just about oh. over. Bradley was completely hot on his feet, so he very easy could have been. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. Well, it's in the hands of Jerry Cantu, Raul Caiz, and Marty Dankins. Remember, he was out on his feet twice. By way of unanimous decision, Timothy Bradley.